Hey everybody, welcome to the Zoom Room. Today on the Zoom Room, I'm going to be showing you a little trick where you can take your guitar that has humbuckers in it and make it sound like a Stratocaster. Now there's a very simple procedure to do this. It's not very difficult and it involves using an EQ and uh, basically using some settings that mimic the uh, EQ curve of a Fender Stratocaster pickup. So it's a really simple thing. I'll show it to you very quickly. But first here on the channel, I'm just going to let you guys know the guitar I'm using today is actually an Ibanez Artist Series 307. That's the headstock. And of course the pickup configuration and layout is a standard humbucking pickup here. Uh, the pickups in this guitar are quite hot. They're about 14K or maybe 13.5K. Uh, depending on which one you read, I have several of these instruments. And uh, this is going to be the guitar I'm going to use. So um, what I'm essentially using here to play through on the uh, Zoom G3X is I've got the uh, F a Fender combo set up here and the Fender combo is set up so that the gain is at 70% uh, the tube rating is all the way up at 100 the level is at 86 the EQ is perfectly flat at 12 o'clock in the treble middle and bass and the presence is on 52 and we're using a Fender combo 2x12 amp sim in the amplifier and basically when you play this sim it kind of sounds pretty much like this so that's what it basically sounds like when you play it just through the fender combo so what we're going to do here is we're going to go to the eq setting here and we're going to be choosing the graphic eq and this is the little trick thing that we're going to be doing with it. Basically the graphic EQ is all set to uh, normal usually when you go into it. And I'm going to have you adjust it in this particular way. So we're going to take the 16, uh, sorry, we're going to take the 160K uh, setting down here. And we're going to set that all the way to minus 12. We're going to take the 400 uh, hertz setting here and we're going to set that to plus 2. We're going to take the 800 hertz setting and we're going to set that to minus 3 and we're going to set the 3.2k setting to plus 4. We're going to set the 6.4 kilohertz setting all the way to 12 and we're going to set the, set the 12 kilohertz setting all the way to 4 and of course uh, the level will be at 150 which is the max output level here um, I found that the max output level for this might be a little bit high you could back it off and put it down to about 140 but uh, we're trying to get the uh, the sound of a uh, Fender pickup here out of this setup uh, and in the process of doing this once you've EQ'd it like this you'll lose a little bit of the power in the bottom end because the EQ settings sound very very different than they would if you were just using your standard humbucking pickup so I'm just gonna play that same riff for you again here and you're gonna see exactly what the difference is with the sound the uh, pickup setting on the guitar right now is in the bridge pickup setting uh, there's nothing else going in going into the sound here right now except that Fender combo amp and this guitar on the Zoom G3 and again this is the sound of just the humbucking pickup with the Fender combo out of the G3. So here we go. So that's the sound of the guitar straight into the Fender combo without the EQ added in. Now if we, e if we add in the EQ setting for the curve for the uh, single coil pickup simulation you're going to see exactly how much it changes the uh, sound and how much it actually does sound like a single coil pickup now the settings I'm using on the EQ here are actually based on the actual EQ settings of a standard Fender single, single coil bridge pickup I'll actually post in the video a graphic EQ setting to show you what those settings actually are of, of the response curve off of 
a fin fender single coil and you'll be able to visually see what the actual EQ curve is that we're messing with and how we're adjusting this. So I set this EQ based on the way that a fender pickup is actually EQ'd and how's, how it sounds when it's been analyzed by a spectrum analyzer. So here's the actual difference here. Again, this is the guitar without the EQ on. Here it is with the EQ setting on. So as you can see, there is quite a difference. It's lost a lot of its bottom end, which of course is natural if you're using a single coil pickup. Uh, that's actually the sound and how it sounds like if you're playing it on strictly on the bridge pickup. This is how it sounds on the neck pickup with the EQ setting and the Fender amp. So as you can see, it really does sound very, very close to a Fender single coil pickup uh, in either the bridge setting or in the neck setting. Uh, we're just going to play the same passage here out of with both pickups going, and I'm going to give you the flavor of what it sounds like with uh, both the bridge pickup and the neck pickup going at the same time. Again, it's the same riff exactly, and you'll hear the contrast in sound. <laughs> So there you go, there's the actual thing that it's doing with the EQ. Now, some of you out there may hear this and say that, well, it doesn't sound exactly like a, uh, a Fender single coil pickup. Uh, you can tell that it's not exactly that. Now, I myself, having been a musician for um, <coughs> 35 years here, I will say the same thing. It doesn't sound 100% exactly, but I'll bet you that if you take this sound and you bury it in the mix, with the rest of a recording, if you're doing a recording with your Zoom uh, units, uh, keep in mind that this EQ setting will work across all of the Zoom units that have the same engine in them and work the same way. So you can do this on any of the Zoom units right up to all of the modern series of Zoom processors. Um, this being said, I'm pretty sure if you took this sound and you buried it in the mix of a live band, you would probably not really notice that it's not actually a Stratocaster being played or something with a single coil pickup in it because it does emulate that sound very very well now it's very hard to tell on the recording that I'm giving you because I'm just actually recording this with my camera so you're not getting a really great sound quality but you guys out there try this setting uh, like I said I'm going to give you the EQ settings in the list for this video and you can try them. The EQ goes before the Fender com um, combo amp because of course, or it goes before any of the amps you might try because of course you're emulating a pickup. So you want that pickup going into any other pedals or any other amps that you're using. You want it to be the first thing in the line of effects uh, so it can emulate that pickup sound uh, the, out of the G3. But uh, I would say to you guys, try this EQ setting, mess around with it a little bit. You may have to readjust the, uh, the EQ settings maybe a little bit to get a flavor or a sound that you find more pleasing to your ear. But if you actually hear this out of a good amplifier or out of whatever type of setup you use recording, I think you'll probably agree it actually does sound very close to a Fender single coil pickup and it probably can pass very well within the mix of a live band. Uh, especially, but also possibly if you're using it for recording purposes as well too. So this is uh, just a little trick I wanted to show you about how you could take your uh, your humbucker equipped guitar and actually get a single coil sound out of it without actually using a single coil or switching the guitar pickup to a single coil. And it's just a little quick trick here that, uh, that I figured you guys might find interesting on the channel. So I'm going to say I hope you guys uh, have a great day. Stay tuned, I'm going to have some other new videos coming up. I've been a little bit busy recording other stuff right now over the past little while, but I'm going to be presenting some new videos coming up along with this one very shortly. And uh, just stay tuned, guys. I'll have some new content for you. Have a great day.